Set your clocks back to late 2005 with me. I had just graduated high school and recently signed on with WOW Radio with a three-episode podcast flop called Town Hall with a guy named Eldritch. He'd left the company after those three episodes, the station had canceled the podcast, and I was suddenly floating out in the ether trying to figure out what I should do. It'd been well known already from Town Hall that I'd been eager to answer lore questions to fill time, and after a conversation with the station owner at the time, Gareth Kales, I decided to try out a full-on lore discussion podcast. That's how I, along with support staff, you all know who you are, uh, created the Ancient of Lore, uh, the first lore broadcast for World of Warcraft, which set so many precedents for the lore, story, and roleplay communities around WoW. Since then, there's been folks who have done it better, there's some folks who have done it worse, but no matter what, it's been a long time since then, which is why we're here right now. Welcome to Ancient Lore a discussion series where we peel back the layers of world-building and story to examine, understand, and discuss where we came from in the world of Warcraft. Today's topic is simply why we're here and what the purpose of this ongoing YouTube series will be. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below or connect with me on my Discord. Link will be at the end of the show. The purpose of that long, rambling, and moderately incoherent opening is to set two bullet points I want to highlight as we begin this adventure back into the World of Warcraft lore. One, this isn't 2005 anymore. I know, shocker. A lot has changed and evolved with lore and story in the Warcraft universe. To quote the wizened Gandalf the Grey, which he once said, You've changed Warcraft, and not for the better. Maybe not that exactly word for word, but the point is still made. Not everything that's happened between then and now has been good. Two, in all the history of those who discussed and documented lore and story with Warcraft, I was one of the few who challenged and questioned. There were a few others who did, sure, but so many in the lore and history community simply accepted everything that came out, never questioned, never stood up and said, hey, this doesn't make any sense. If it's not obvious by those two points, the purpose of the Ancient Lore series will be to peel back the layers of time and reveal what I consider to be the purest forms of history and story that's on offer for the Warcraft universe. It's not the novels we're going to be diving back into, or the later WoW expansions, but the old RTS games, the manuals and documentation surrounding them and their expansions, the cinematics, and the original World of Warcraft itself. Perhaps we sink a stone into Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King, but make no mistake, there were major, glaring failures in story from even those golden days of WoW content that we will refuse to accept at even the most minute of face value. It's not all doom and gloom. The reason such a high standard is being set with this series is because there's truly so much good in those core tenets of Warcraft lore. The goal of this is to shine a light on everything that was stellar about the Warcraft universe, everything that pulled me in. And in the first season of this series in particular, there will be an effort to set a baseline for just that. We start, as any good series should, with laying the foundation out before us so we have something to stand on. Look forward to episodes on the major factions to get us started, and after that, a spread of different major characters, plot points, and moments in time. While initially I planned this series as more of a strictly seasonal sets of content, it's grown to allow more flexibility which also means suggestions for topics and discussion points are more than welcome, both in the comments and on Discord. With that being said, I do have quite a few episode topics already drafted. I'll talk about some of these specifics here in a few moments, but my current episode listing stretches, at this time at least, just over three pages. This has been a real brain soak for me, and while I've danced around doing something like this for a long time, I'm glad it's finally coming together in a tangible way. We will be equally balanced in our skepticism and hopefulness, eagerly diving into both what I find beloved about lore, hopefully even energizing, as well as what I feel needs to be called out as poorly written, structured, 
or even simply inaccurate. We will have an unwavering focus on facts, consistency, and an insistence that the world be judged critically and fairly. We will not be afraid to call out missteps, just as we will approach those moments that truly mattered with the heartfelt appreciation they deserved. Most importantly, we will reveal the truth that laid the foundation for one of the longest-running and most popular game universes of all time. There's so much that I'm excited to open up or rehash with this series, subjects that you've heard me speak ad nauseum, and some that you may be surprised to hear about, not just from me, but in general. Let's tease a few topics here, starting with a few that you've heard me blab on about before. Drenai, The Silver Hand, Hellscream, and Sylvanas are all on the docket for this. Subjects that you may not have heard about before, though, The Brotherhood of the Horse, Necrolites, Ronin, and even the curious case of the disappearing wolf riders that are just the tip of ye old historical icebergs we're going to uncover. Wow, lore icebergs, that's, I, I better write that idea down. Thank you for starting this journey with me. We have so much to open up, and we will start next week with a detailed analysis of the history of the Horde at large. If you've enjoyed this feature, please consider subscribing here at youtube.com slash the Dan Nation, as well as joining my Discord at tinyurl.com slash danscord. It's a Discord, but with 100% more Dan. From the Lore Bunker here in Boston, Massachusetts, this is Dan wishing you a wonderful and wide, wide world of lore.